Hello and welcome back to more Empires of the Undergrowth! Ha! Anyway, we're going to be doing a really tough one today. Alright, as you can see, it kind of cranked the difficulty to 100%. It's going to be ramped with spikes. Yeah, we're going to have the difficulty on insane. What does that say? Uh, yeah. Uh, max underground resources and danger, because... Why not? Uh, you know what? We're going to put all creatures on, so this might go horribly wrong. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. We're just going to do all Ubers, too. Uh, you know what? Infestation. Sure. Sounds like fun. And here's the... Uh, and now, the coup de grace. I'm, I'm going to be keep those on pervasive. We're going to be little black ant, fire ant, big headed ant. They're all going to be corrupt. Tempted to have them all on the same team. Really tempted. Do I? Do I do that? Hmm. That would make it challenging, but would it make it too challenging? I'm going to keep it as is. We're just going to start. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, back to random questions. I mean, pretty much, yeah. This is going to be oof, rough. If we can survive, we'll be fine. Can't we survive? Uh, good question. Insert Shrek. Good question. Now, first things first. Nope, that's going to dig out that. Probably, yeah. So what I'm going to do is dig, dig a tunnel right to the entrance. And uh, then I don't know what I'm going to do from there. Oof. I'm going to dig to that bit of food. And also that. We, we just do not, or we do need food. We don't need food. We do need food. Stop trying, you failed so many times. Yeah. Why do fat toads give less food than a spooner with small legs and a small body? Uh, good question. Very good question. Listen, it does not matter how many times I have failed a free play, alright? What matters is I try again, alright? And this is what is going to show you why I do all the shit I do, alright? Yes, I make some mistakes, but I learn from them. Because, you know, it's like kind of why I have a brain, just saying, you know, to learn from mistakes and correct them. Mm, uh, spiderlings. Probably four spiderlings in there. Interesting. Well, let's start getting one nest chamber out the door. Start getting our first bits. Oh, I should probably have you, you know, playing the eggs. You're just going to die. Am I? Or are you going to die? Because you know the rules, and so do I. Say goodbye. <laughs> All right, well, let's find out. I think if I can accomplish a decently sized army, before I open up the nest, I think we'll be fine. Think. Been wrong before, though. Hmm. And to be honest, black ants just aren't that bad in the old game. <laughs> I don't feel so good. I mean, fair, that's fair. What do you mean? I mean... Listen, we don't need to kill the enemies, alright? We just need to hold out long enough for the environment to kill them, all right? I have no intentions on winning by killing them. The fire ant can, yeah, I think so. The raptors can, but can the black ants do it? We shall see. All right, we got four soldiers. All right, let's open this up. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's Devil's Coach Horse Larva. Oh, that's a little 
Yikes. Not even going to lie about that, but actually, the few soldiers we do have are doing a decent amount of damage. There we go. And that's a pocket open. And you had doubt in me. Try the leaf cutters again next stream. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Maybe. I might try them again soon, but definitely not next stream. Probably not next stream. Add another one. And all that food will be good for reinforcements. Let's see, that'll be 15 off my total, so that'll be about 23, if my math is right. Are you late? No, you are not. Happy early 700 subs. Yeah, it's it's been an insane month. I just was not expecting to grow this fast in the slightest. I, it's getting to the point where I am getting close to monetization, actually. I probably should have opened this up. So I think they are separate chambers. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, that's... I can handle a false bombardier beetle. It's fine. Hey, what was the name as the ants for tier 5 again? Uh, Matabele. It's actually about how you spell, spell it, or sound it out. Not the ads. Listen, do you want me to uh, continue making good content? Do you want me to make you better content? You kind of need cash to do it. And also time. And, well, to be honest, I can't make videos if I'm at work. My boss wouldn't like that at all. Let's open this up and what we got? Oh, even easier. Checkered beetle larva. Pfft. That's baby. What a baby. I mean, because, well, it is a baby. All right. And then we'll open up this. Probably just another larva. Yep. Oh, no, it's a uh, two larva. That's fine. We got it. But can I just uh, point this out? We seem to be doing a little bit better than the leaf cutters were last game. Just, just, just throwing that out there. All right. You know, because last game, it was a little rough doing anything. Trigger Beetle Larva are one of the strongest larvae, I think, because of their damage. Yes, they do have a ton of damage, but most importantly, they have no food. They give you no food. I think I'm going to open this up, and then maybe this one, then this one, or maybe that. Oh, it was Spiderlings. I knew it! My huge galaxy brain allowed me to see into the future. Or something, I don't know. More ants. The strongest is False Bombardier. Well, I'm talking about like the, you know, start of the game, very basic beetle larva. Alright. The Bombardier is, the, the False Beetle larva is like, um, not a beginner larva, but like an intermediate larva. Like, I would say, kind of like the Praying Mantis. Yeah, it's like kind of on par with the Praying Mantis, kind of. You know, the babies are pretty easy, but they're also a lot harder than, uh, you know, an adult. We'll take this out, I think we can. I should have sh shaved. I, I should have shaved before I open it. You know, just stop the stream real quick. Being like, hold on, I need to shave real quick. My beard's too scruffy. I should have saved before I open it. But I think it'll be fine, question mark. Send the workers over there to confirm whether or not it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're chill. <laughs> A little closer than it should of, but hey, we're alive. 
Empires of the Wood about termites. Yeah, I wonder if they would do like a similar game as Empires of the Undergrowth, but like focusing on different creatures, like maybe bees or, you know, something like that. Like if, it, if they did make an offshoot about bees, I don't know if I could play it because I am actually terrified of bees. Like that is my phobia. Just no. Any bees or wasps or anything like that. Ugh. Terrifying. All right, there we go. All that food's collected. Hmm. No. Honestly, the Dune is probably my favorite map. Just because, A, the underground is wide open and you start off in the middle so you can branch off in all the different directions. You're not kind of like forced to challenge any pocket that you're not able to handle. Whereas as, as on the other, some of the other maps, it's like, all right, well, I kind of need to leave my nest or to get to this easy one, I have to go through this really tough one. So these are chill. I mean, like, I'm not saying they're evil or anything. I just get nervous around. Them, that's all. Bunch of spiderlings. We got that. Easy dubs. Easy clap. What's up, Michael? How you doing? He didn't say Weaver hint. I know. Every, like, everyone has a major, like, hard-on for Weaver Ants. It's like, all right, just chill, all right? You're, you're not fucking these ants, all right? At least I hope you aren't. If you are, I mean, I'm not going to judge, but I'm going to judge you. <laughs> hmm. Where do I go from here? Uh, I think I'm going to go in there. All right, let's see what we got. Place your bets now. Oh, you just subbed? Oh, thank you. Oh, it's two adults. I think we can take it. We do have a lot of food on our storage. Hmm. We, and we are doing a decent amount of damage. And they aren't doing that much to us. Well, not as much as I thought they might. And there goes one. And come on, just fi finish it. Finish him. There we go. Done. Uh, might want to start planning out a food store. You know what? I could just use the uh, chamber that the other ants or the other creatures came in. So I think I will. Might as well. I'm still trying? Yeah, I am. Just because I know I can win. Maybe. You have a large enough army and a big enough food stockpile, anything is possible. Listen, if there's one thing I've learned in life, it's that with enough money, you can do literally anything. Am I wrong or am I right? Do some speed tiles so we can close off that area. So we can upgrade. You know what? I'm going to do one upgrade. Yeah, just, just the one. Yeah, let's do two. Let's make it spicy. Open up, open wide. <laughs> yeah, oh, here comes my least favorite rogue beetles. Oh, there goes my army. And these seem to have more damage resistance than the, uh, than the, what's it called? Um, the devil's coach horse. And I don't know if we're gonna win this one. 
Mm, I think that's a no. I think we might have to reload the last save. And I did not save! Lovely. Alright, well that was a small misstep. But, what can you do? Have I str tried straight? Oh, no, it did save. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. It's fine. Wood ants versus fire ants. Meh. Green river beetles are skin color from beetles uprising thumbnail. Oh, beetles rise up. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, I like Stray. I've seen the whole thing. You know, I know how it, the game ends and all that. So, like, I don't think that I really need to play it. That's really the problem with um, narrative-driven games. It's just once you've beaten the thing and like or know the story, there's no reason to do it and play it again or even buy it in the first place. Just watch someone on YouTube play it and then, boom, you're done. There we go. Let's challenge the Devil's Coach Horse again. Prove that it's not just a fluke. Remember, they're all level one. Imagine if they were actually upgraded, or if we had more of them. I think they would do just fine. So we don't have a whole lot of food in store. There goes one. And here comes number two going down. There. Now we're going to save afterwards. I'm not going to touch that. What are we going to touch? I, when I say it like that, it kind of sounds weird, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Um, what we can do is up, open up the food stores a little bit. And just store it all, I guess. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And then I think we... Either we open this or we open this. Mm, let's see where we're our food's sitting at. Well, it looks like we're pretty much full on food. Uh, we're going to save. I think I'm going to open that. Why did the rope beetle spray do so much damage? I don't know. Oh, shit. That's not really what I wanted to see. A bunch of uh, checkered beetles. Now. Yeah, no, that's a reload. The checkered beetles are actually very deadly. They don't have the spray like all the other beetles, but their attack speed is through the roof. All right, let's try this one. So, going to be a bunch of larvae of something, so I think we can handle that. Oh, God, that's a lot of them. Maybe I spoke too soon. Like, if we can keep them to this spot, maybe. But that's a lot even for me. Even for my army right now. Now, if we can keep them in this corridor, we... We should be able to limit the amount of damage they're able to do with us. And with our food stores. Yeah, I think we will win this actually in this corridor. Because their numbers only are, uh, get them so far when they're in this tight of a corridor. We'll be able to hatch our army. Yeah, we're, we're going to be golden. The world is filled with 20% of ants. Uh, interesting. You call stream? Yeah. Yeah, you do. I try to stream around this time every night. The little black ants could easily win this fight. I do agree with you. Well, also because I would be at double the amount of ants right now, just because they are just about half the price of a black ant. So, by the way, some interesting results from my polls. Apparently, to all of you, you think the... About half of you said that the... Wood Ant was the strongest colony in the game. And 80% of you said the Black Ant was the weakest. 
By the way, I just want to point out that one person said that fire ants were the weakest. One person said little black ants were the weakest. And then, like, most, the second weakest colony in all your opinion was the little or the big headed ant. And no, I'm not making that up. Which I kind of find funny. The disrespect, yeah. Can we please have some dark humor? Please, sir, can I have some more? But, sir, I cut off your eye. I, I don't know what, what I was going with there, but... Let's do some upgrading, get these to level 2, then maybe they'll actually stand a bit more of a chance in combat. Or should I upgrade my food source? Let's upgrade my food source a little bit. Yeah, let's do that to level 2. Add the speed tiles so they can be upgraded to level 3. Eventually. And... Whoop, whoop. Come on. Get those speed tiles. There we go. And now we can make sure we're making the smart decisions based on how much food we actually have and not how much we're estimating we have between all that's lying on the ground. Um, I just want to point out, rogue beetle larvae are worth 13 food compared to devil's coach horse larva being worth 15. Uh... Hmm... Now, where do we go next? We could challenge those Robeals, but I don't think that would be a good idea. We've established that a lot of enemies in a tight corridor will allow us to win. So let's turn off food and fighting for our, our workers. And let's see if we can uh, take that out. I think we can. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Oh, it's a bunch of spiralings. Oh, jeez. Oh, good lordy, Lou. But that will be a ton of food for us if we do manage to beat this. And I think we will? Question mark? Yeah, good thing we have that corridor right there. Otherwise, I think the results would be a little less happy. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Oh my god, so much food. I just see all the numbers. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Uh, gotta be honest, the black ants seem to be an early game tank because of their health and stuff. Maybe if the black ants had another ant version like Super Soldier, they would be better. Well, again, you're basing them on real-life colonies. Now, granted, in real life, they do spray formic acid, just like wood ants, but they wanted... The devs wanted the wood ants to... Uh, you know, do that, and they wanted the black ants to be simple, mechanically simple, and they are. They are very mechanically simple. Maybe a little too simple. Uh, baby wolf spider, yep. I love eating babies. And honestly, we have enough food that we can upgrade this to level two. Now, you might be wondering, why are you going for upgraded ants instead of um, more of them? And the simple reason is that upgraded ants are more food efficient. All right. Like, I'm not saying that, you know, you shouldn't go for quantity. I think quantity is very good, but you have to balance it out with quality too. Black ants versus big headed ants. Hmm, interesting. First black ants are technically black wood ants. Quantity is quite expensive, yes. Now, like if they do add multiplayer, I would love to like try and do like a YouTuber war. Just invite all pretty much any content creator that will respond to my emails being like, hey, Let's just all meet up, celebrate the launch of the multiplayer, and just 
go ham. I think it would be interesting, you know, if they ever add that. You know, there's no guarantee they will add it. And there's also no, <clears throat> no uh, guarantee they won't add it. And we can play with you, right? Well, if it was a YouTuber war, it would be YouTubers. So, you know, like, I, you know, like maybe Seth or an Overwatch, if she wanted to do that. You know, Baron, Blitz, maybe. Yeah, that would be like an interesting combo. Like, maybe me and Zethrin versus Baron and Blitz. Or something. I don't know. Maybe Man of the Ants. The ants must fight. Right, well, let's see if we can hold them here. I think we can. Don't forget to save. Ah, shit. Too bad. Grip play ants. I wish I could show it to the owner. I know. I hear what you mean by, you know, it's like you want to tell the dev, dev stuff, but, you know, it is their game at the end of the day, though. And all we can do is just shop and give them our money. Which we are. Speaking of showing up and giving money, they are giving us quite a bit of food. An uber creature has already spawned. How long have we been in this? 27 minutes or so. Or 25 minutes. About 25 minutes into a free play, we already have to deal with an uber. Or, well, they do anyway. We went outside right now. We'd be wrecked. No doubt about it. Empires of the Undergrowth Tournament? That might be a cool thing to do. Like, first I would just do the uh, battle and, you know, just like... Like, maybe if they were doing like a beta, they might do a beta for the multiplayer. I would do that and then try and set up a tournament. But that's all stuff in the future, you know. You can't really bank on stuff in the future because, well, the future may not come. Or maybe a completely different future. Added ghost dance. No, j just leave. Just leave, all right? <laughs> Get out of here with that. Oh, I did not actually end up upgrading all of them to level three. Hmm. Well, why don't I do that real quick? We did dig out a second chamber for our ants. Du -du -du. Yeah, they would need to they would need to change a few things in order to uh, accommodate multiplayer. But I think it has some potential. How ridiculous the last stream was! I know, like, you know, people think people always thought. I was exaggerating when I said, oh, as soon as I open the nest, the, you know, I'll get swarmed. They'll rush me down. Did I not prove it? The fire ants, you know, took a little bit to acknowledge me, but th when they did, they came in full force. I was like, well, I can't deal with that. And that red vela ant showing up in about five seconds after me opening it, that, that just broke me. Favorite looking ant colony in the game. Um, I don't know. I I would say maybe fire ants. I think they would be, it would be really interesting if they did do multiplayer for one specific reason. It would be both a good money model for the devs and also just fun for us. Cause like they could add colony specifically for free play and, you know, add them as DLC so they could get paid. Cause like, I'd personally pay like five bucks for an extra colony, why not? All right, we're gonna go up here and challenge these checker beetles, all right? We have a full group of 19 at level three. We were doing fine-ish at level one. So now that they're level three, and we also have a lot of food in store, I think we can do it. All the new ants look so cool, but they're so small. Yeah. Yeah, that was an idea I had in mind. It's like, you could take like a trap jaw queen, like a, a trap jaw colony, and whenever you take out an enemy colony, you can pay like a lot of food to set up an outpost in the old nest. And, you know, 
it would be like a, a subsidiary of the main queen. But that would be a little complicated to set up now, wouldn't it? Oh, we got that in the bag. Bye, Beetle. Oh, well, they got a little distracted on the new one. Fortunate. But I feel fully confident we can take them all out. Yep. There we go. Now we only have the one. Unfortunately, we are going to lose a little bit of food on the actual creatures themselves. So good thing there's some extra food in their lair. And I think now is a good time to add some more black ants. Argentine ants? Oh yeah, they were... Well, from what I understand, they're like a very pervasive species in the ant kingdom. Right? That Don't they have like a super colony or something like that? I think we might want to open this up, actually. Might be a good idea. Wait for our new ants to be hatched. There we go. Let our workers add the eggs so that way they don't have to worry about that as much during combat. And now we open. Save. Eh, fine. <sighs> Hello, your main. How's it going? Oh, dear Lordy Lou. Mm. Well, this is slightly terrifying. That's a lot of them. Holy shit. I think we can take him, eventually. Everyone back here. Back here. Back, 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 back. Back, you fall demon. Fall back even further, because I want them in that corridor. So we can take him on 1v1 like we know works. There we go. Now it's just a matter of time. But I'm fully confident we will win. Barrow Ants Colony. That sounds like an interesting colony. Never don't know about them, but... Marauder Ants, I think I've heard of those. Should you add speed tiles in corridors so your ants can get to the fight faster? I mean, right now I'm focused more on making my sure my army can actually handle the threats in the underground. I mean, yeah, the, the speed tiles aren't cheap, but every bit of food counts. Because, like, a, I could do a speed tile, or I could hatch another ant. You know, you gotta balance it out. In the beginning of the game, speed tiles just aren't worth it. Later in the game, yes, they are worth it. And there we go. That's a lot of food for us. And, in fact, now I think I will just along this main corridor. Like that. And that's it. Just a little extra speed, but I don't want to spend any more food than is necessary. Oh, wow. That is a lot of food. Oh, okay. We're getting another colony group. Hell yeah. Actually, we could just use this as another group right there. I like this. I like this a lot. Now, we should probably think about a worker group. So I'm actually going to plan one out right here. Because at a certain point, you just don't have enough workers to take care of the colony's egg laying needs. So, you know, we will have to invest a little bit of food into that. Um, right off the bat, I'm only going to do seven workers, double the amount of ants we have available to us. And then we're going to go from there. But right now, it is needed. Seven ants have trouble keeping up with two full groups of ants. I think, like, their limit to effectively um, manage that is about 30. Somewhere in that range. I know I need more workers. I'm building them, Chase. 
now I think I want to upgrade this colony just a little, maybe not that much. Yeah, that's good. Add a speed tile right there. Just want to hold on a second to make sure everything's going okay. All right, yeah, they're adding the worker eggs. I want to wait for a few of them to hatch. Bull ants would do three times more damage than a fire ant would. Hmm. Interesting. All right, we're taking on these rope beetles. I think we can handle them now. I'm hoping we can handle them now. Just, just in case. Just, just in case I'm wrong, which might be possible. Might be a possibility. <laughs> Although we are doing a fair bit of damage, and that is the spray you dealt with. If we can take out one, I'll feel a lot more confident about our chances of winning. And there we go. Haha. <laughs> go ahead and spray all you want. They sound OP and they should be OP. I don't know. There we go. We've broken through. Plenty of food to go around for everyone. Now, where do we go? Um, hmm. I think we want to go north. Not really sure what's in all these groups, but... Or do we want to go in here? I think actually in here might be a good idea. Uh, let's open up those two because that's our last bit of food chamber we still have not made. So let's finish that before I forget. And we'll also upgrade them to level 2. Just so that way they're on track with everything else. And you know what? While we're at it, add a speed tile. <laughs> Alright, now we open that up. You can dig around the big enemies and get the smaller enemies from the south. I could... But that's just boring. We'll save in case it's horrible. It's horrible. I don't like these beetles. They suck. They get their spray way too fast. Like, really fast. Absurdly fast. Oh, but we are killing one of them. Come on, please kill the one. I'll be a lot happier. All right, that means we actually won't be so confused that we can get some damage in. The cooldowns are ridiculously short. 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 I sound like a little bit redneck right there, you know, and just be like, nah, it's a, it's a little short. Or something, I don't know. Trying to make jokes. Come on, stop spreading out your damage. There we go. And that's a win. Gather all the food, please. And now we can enjoy the spoils of our victory. And in fact, I'm going to add some more workers just to make sure we're in the clear. In fact, I'm going to add speed tiles around them. What do you think? Next? Here next? I think so. Actually, no. There's free food down here. So... Because, well, there's only one tile connecting them. And you know it's closed. Rogue beetles don't have a confused spray. They do just do a lot of damage. No, they, those beetles definitely had a confused spray. There's two different types of rogue beetles. The colorless ones and the colored ones. The colored ones do a dam a damaging spray that does not confuse. The colorless one does a confused spray that doesn't damage or does a low amount of damage. I don't know how you're good, so good at the game. You're able to do max difficulty and free to play while I can't even beat three fire eight colonies on head start with big headed ants. I mean, well, a big headed ants suck first off. 
And second off, um, I've restarted this game so many times. Not this specific one, but just in general. Like, look at my other streams, and you'll see that I struggled a little bit. Want to upgrade those? Oh, that's a lot of uh, false bombardier larva. Can we take out the one? Yes. Perfect. Actually, everyone fall back to like right about here. And we'll get them. Actually, it doesn't really matter if we catch them in the corridor. So let's try and get them out in the open. I don't think we will, but maybe they'll be just separated enough where we can take advantage of that. All right. Well, two of them did die, and another two looking like they are about to. Yes, there we go. Hopefully, that'll make the difference that we need to win. Oh, we are running a little low on food. But their numbers are dropping faster than ours are, I think. At least I hope they are. Big-headed ants is noobs, yeah. Well... They seem like they might be, they would be good. And the ma super majors are good. It's just the other ones are trash. Don't ever touch them. Ever. Like with a 10 foot pole, don't. All right, gather all that food because that was actually a rough fight. A little too rough, if you ask me. I mean, I like it rough, but uh, uh, nothing. I didn't say anything. <laughs> anyway. Well, if you do free play but disable upkeep, that would be chaos. It would kill my computer. <laughs> I did have a thought of, like, what if I did free play but I filled the entire underground with nothing but soldiers? What did he say? <laughs> nothing. I didn't say anything. But yeah, if I was to like fill the entire ground with soldiers, what I would do is I would go Raptor, do Royal Decree, and I would make nothing but pervasive fire ants, all right? And that's what I would do. And yeah, have fun with that. The reason for pervasive fire ants is because free hatches, which can be great. Because we won't have a lot of food stored up. We'll only have 70, so food will be a little rough to get. And the royal decree, so that way it can instantly hatch and place down eggs, which means an infinite army for, what, 20 seconds? So yeah, that's, honestly, it sounds like a decent strategy. Mm, but I'd have to, oh uh, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to do it, because I would need to have a Formicarium with both Royal Decree and Pervasive, and my Eruptor Colony has Royal Decree, which is not the expensive part to change out, it's the Pervasive part to change out. <laughs> I have vigorous ants. I think we'll be able to take these beetles. What do you think? So many jungle creatures down here. Like, we've encountered mostly jungle creatures, which, you know, isn't too big of an issue. Uh, I have a challenge for you. All right, what is your challenge then? You can't spawn any more worker on Formicarium. It can only spawn workers and majors. So, like, only workers and leaf cutters? Alright, interesting. Uh, aggressive brood. Um, I would do aggressive brood. Royal Guard and make them durable. Mm. 
what, what do you mean, soldiers? Random question. Did you ever do videos on the 3.1, 3.2 missions on Insane? No, I did not. Um, I had one of them recorded. I, I think I still have it lying around in one of my files somewhere. Um, yeah, I have that recorded. And 3.1, I have figured out the strategy. I just have not made it or even recorded it. Because, like, I was kind of waiting for the Velvet Worms to come out. Because as soon as I post that, as soon as that update goes live, they're obsolete. But it sounds like the Velvet Worms will take a while. So maybe I will upload those videos. Only, only seven workers per colony? No, not, that's too much of a challenge. All right, let's hope that's enough food to take us through whatever we're fighting. I have a feeling it's going to be amphibians. Let's find out. About 300-ish food. I think that might help us with the amphibians. Toads, I mean, we got this. Listen, if the fire ants can take them out at smaller numbers, I think we can handle it, all right? We actually have a decent amount of soldiers and, and a good amount of food in our stockpile. And look how much we're doing in that one, Toad. All right, well, that did not help, nor did that. But it's fine. If we take out one, we'll be in a great position. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Dodge that. Nerf that. I mean, I knew it was Toads, but I had to try and pretend I was surprised. And there we go. Toad down. Enjoy the spoils of victory. Duh. Hello, Levington. How you doing? Those toads have large stomachs, I have to say. Yeah, they do. They could just eat my entire army. Well, I mean, didn't it say like 75% of their diet is ants? Um, okay, let's upgrade all of you to level 3 then. That way I don't have to think about upgrading you anymore. much food do we have there? None. We are literally out. Alright. Let's keep what we got in our stores and now let's open up down here. But I'm going to save first. <laughs> because I'm not really sure what's in there. It could either be completely fine or the worst idea in the history of mankind. Can I tell you a leak or, or no? I mean, I already know all the leaks. Oh, dear God. Well, that's going to be horrifying in the first bit. But as soon as they get their spray out of the way, they'll be fine. Although I think they'll just cycle their spray in. Okay, everyone over here. Or, you know what, just charge them. That, that works too. Yeah, I don't think all of them have their spray out of the way. Yeah, I think the ones in the back still have to release. But we'll see. They might have gotten rid of it early. I may be dead. No, it, like, the bombardiers aren't off. It's literally their spray that makes them rough. Once their spray is gone, it takes them forever to get it back. I think like at least two minutes. And their bite isn't that good, so. All the ants they eat up in the vacuum space. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, ooh. What do we have here? Looks like a sneaky bit of hidden food. 
not seeing anything else. Unfortunately, no random leaf cutter queen for 400 free food. Sag. What do you think about the upcoming Velvet Worm? I'm not sure how it's going to work. So, like, I'm reserving judgment because I don't know anything about it. So, I don't know if it'll change the level too, too much. Excuse me. I thought you were right here. There we are. 100 food. All right. Nothing great, but nothing bad either. Gather that bit, and then we go up there and gather that 100. Little black ants are better, not going to lie. I mean, you're not wrong. Black ants aren't the best, but aren't the worst. Well, I hate to break it to you, but apparently 80% of the people I polled said that black ants are the worst colony in the game. So, yeah. Uh, it seems like the ants are a little bit slower to responding to the pheromone markers since four times came out. I don't know. Might just be your imagination. Let's open that tunnel up. Um, I want to start setting up another colony over there, and then I'll finish off the workers here. What we got? Oh, that's not what I want to see. It's really not what I want to see. Oh, that's going to eat up a ton of food. Maybe I should have saved before I open it. Did not really think that part through. Well, we did kill one. So there is that. Unfortunately, they're killing us. We still have a lot of food in store. And come on. Take out that one. Perfect. I think we have a chance of winning now. Uh, have decent use, but they don't really have any special skills which make them bad compared to other colonies. Yeah, they're not awful. Like, they're not the worst unit in the game. It's just they don't have anything that makes them good. And we're out of food, which is a bit unfortunate, but there is only one. And there's going to be so much food when we're done. There we go. Done. Now, please harvest it all, so that way we can actually have our army back. Oh, you're not going to go to the nearby food store that is the queen? Smart decision, smart decision. Is it a good idea to put another group of two so far away from the queen? Eggs take forever. Well, my plan is to surround the enemies. Like, I'm not sure if I can hold the line. So by having a, a group of, eh, yeah, you're probably right, but you know what? I'm doing it anyway. You know what? I'm actually going to do this. Cut a line straight through. Should be better. That should make it a little bit easier for everyone to get around. Yep. Sorry, you have to go to sleep? Uh, don't be. Enjoy your sleep. You need it. Like, I will say this. Never apologize for taking care of yourself, alright? Like... You're the only one that's going to take care of yourself and your well-being, so, you know, don't be unapologetic. Make sure you get your sleep that you need, and if someone doesn't like it, that's their problem. You know? It's like, well, how dare you be selfish for sleeping? It's like, oh yes, how dare I be selfish for getting something that I need? Super creatures are the strongest super creatures... Uh, I had an aneurysm reading that. And I'm going to save it because I don't want to do that again. While the workers are hatching. 
That way they can take on all their good duties. Oh, a bunch of checker beetles. Interesting. Well, I'm not too worried about them. Pretty sure we can take it. Very sure we can take it. There we go. Two of them down. Oh, that poor beetle's getting all the attention. And that's another win. Uh, I'm pretty sure those are toads. So I'm going to open this up next. Idea to do a worker-only challenge mode for subjugation. You can't do that. Trust me, I would love to do that. And I thought about doing, like, a worker-only Formicarium run. Doing all the levels of the Formicarium uh, as only workers. But subjugation literally requires you to have 50 soldiers, all right? You cannot beat the level until you have made them. So, that's the thing. Going to upgrade the food tiles just a little bit more. So that way we don't ever have to waste any food. Now let's open you up. And see what's inside. A creamy, delicious coating. I have an ant beat checker beetle. I believe it. I meant new home. Uh... It would be rough, but I think we could do it. Oh. Don't let them don't let them surround the opening. Don't let them corridor us. Get some kills before they can corridor us. Yes. Cause we actually have a better advantage against these beetles if we can surround them. If they just keep on if they corridor us with that confused spray, we would just be toast. But if we can swarm them, not every ant will be confused. And one by one, they will fall to our might. And that's a lot of food we just won. So let's take full advantage of it. And in fact, what I'm going to do, finish off this chamber. Because I know for a fact we'll have enough food to afford it and also reinforcements. Because there was, what, 600 food, at least, from the beetles alone? I have returned from not chatting. Well, welcome back. I hate Harvestmen. I really do. Like, and alone, they're, they're just a nuisance. But in large groups, they are actually very deadly. Like, I would argue Harvestmen are one of the deadliest creatures in the game. In the underground, like, if you find them underground, that is, all right? That's the only way they're going to group up in the numbers enough where you're kind of screwed. But otherwise, they're not too bad. Like, one, five, it's just like, ah, uh, annoyance. Spiny devils are also very annoying. Yes, they are. And honestly, newts, are, the, the giant red newts are becoming one of my least favorite creatures. Very annoying because they do reflect damage every time you attack them. They have the tongue to heal themselves. I think it heals themselves anyway. And of course, they just have a lot of health and they don't give the most food because they are a swamp creature. I know that's swampus, but you know, it's the truth. There goes Toad. I like diamonds better than gold. Wow. I can't believe you'd say that. I'm devastated now. Whatever will I do? <sighs> and then this will be the last underground pockets, so. I don't really want to spend any more because I can see this going very bad very quick. So I kind of want to hold on to all this food as reinforcements in case I am right and it goes horrible. They look big, but get very small food. 
Yeah. Alright. A thousand food, I think we are, we'll, we'll be... Uh, maybe not fine. All three enemies are still alive. Let's open it up. See what we got. We're just going to chill at the entrance until I s know what's going on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, no. Oh, I may have made some mistakes. Uh, I want to go home. Saved. Hmm. Saved. Which one am I? I don't know. Because I don't really want to go out. I think I'm red. But that seems like a bad idea to leave. Oh my god, that's a 10 star newt. What fresh hell is this? Oh, something invaded us. I think this is us. Oh my god, this harvestman is insane. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's 100% us. Oh, there's a whip spider in there too now. A level four whip spider. And we're doing next to nothing to it. What are stars? It means they've been buffed. A lot. Like more health, more damage. Stuff like that. Please kill that whip spider. I think this is us. Listen, once we regain our soldier count, I want to find out where we are. There we go, finally. No! <laughs> Alright, well, that's actually a little better. And that's a lot of food. Oh, not that much food. That's actually next to nothing. This is a 10 star harvestman, jeez. Please, harvest. Yes! Now I can actually see my underground a little better. Please kill it. Like, we were at a thousand food. Did you think I was being a little paranoid? Well, that's the reason why. This is absolutely insane. I'm not sure how the other colonies are surviving even. There we go. Now we can harvest all of the bodies. And I'm pretty darn sure we are yellow, so... Nope, we're red. We're red. Mm, I'm sorry. Those, oh, those soldiers are dead. Well, now I know for sure which one we are. Oh. Guess that was a good thing. You think one of the colonies died? Nah, you'd see them, like, faded out. Let's take a look at what's going on. So, in the bottom left, we have the little black ants. In the bottom right, we have the Fire ants. That'll probably do the best. And in the top left, we have the big-headed ants. Now, the big-headed ants aren't even leaving their colony. And the little black ants, I don't think they're going to do too well. I just got a feeling. Where's the uber creature? Good question. Oh. Well, there's your problem. Right there by the little black ant. Oh, what's attacking us now? Oh. You. Well, actually, I think we're ga Like, if we just camp our entrance, we should actually be gaining food. Who knows? Maybe we'll even have enough food to uh, expand. Doubtful, but you never know. Oh, another harvestman died. Yeah, look, we're, we're gaining a little bit. But I'm just going to hold on to that food in case a whips, level 10 whip spider just decides to pop on uh, by and say hi. Oh, that poor mantis wasp. Oh, that poor harvestman. 
Oh, I want the fish. Oh my god, look at the amount of ants that are spawning to take the fish. Like, that is literally just to take the fish. Normally it's just like a couple. It is a literal constant stream. I think big headed ants are going to die. Saw some creatures enter it. Probably, yeah. Oh. Um, that doesn't kill them. I don't know what will. Oh no, a red velvet ant. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Seriously, that's actually really bad. This... Okay, good. The Red Velvet Ant is dead. Now we actually have a chance of surviving. And that is why I put those ants there. Was that smart of me or what? To surround them. Get more damage in. What percentage of difficulty is it now on? It's not 200%. Fuck it is. Another uber creature. Tiger Beetle. Nature's snakes. Oh my god, we're down to like 300 food. Rough, tough times are among us. Yeah, they just flee when they're at low health, that stinger. Oof, that stinger is rough. There we go, we harvested that corpse so we can actually have some food. The problem is, I don't think going above ground is a good idea. Because we're kind of getting spawn camped just a little bit. Yeah, I think I think we just have to hold out. Nature snakes, what kind of saying is that? You cannot win? I mean... Sure looks that way. Although, hey! Bye! Have a nice day! You got the short end of the stick, not gonna lie. Yeah? But question is, will the other colonies die before me? That is the true question. Spawn camped a little bit, proceeds to show 15 mantis. I'm sorry, is one of the colonies attacking? Oh no. One of the colonies is attacking me. The fire ants are seriously attacking me? The fuck? <laughs> I actually don't know if we can take out this prey mantis. Like, look at that heal! Look at that heal! Okay, yeah, I can only take on one at a time, but... It only needs to take out one at a time. Oh! Thank you, prey mantis! Love you! Not really. I wish you would die and go to hell. How did you let like the AI little black ant colony outlast you? I mean, they're still... We're still going. We're killing it. Slowly. Very. Very slowly, but... I think we might actually be able to win it, because we're doing a lot of damage be Oh, no, never mind. There goes its heal. It's going to be a close one, but we might be able to win this. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. I think the answer is a solid no. The colony is starving. Hmm, well there might be your answer. There is your answer. If you have 400 level three ants, you can't be a four star Uber. Wow. I don't see even see how a challenge like this is even fun. I mean, if it was a different colony, I think we would be fine. But, no, we aren't. <laughs> this is it. If I reloaded a save too, though, it'd be about the same thing, so. Like, Gene Thief? Yeah, if I was a Gene Thief, I have full confidence I would win. Because, like, even if I was, you know, forced back like this, I'd have a free hatch with the Royal Guard. I would have Wood Ants, which... They're just incredible. There's no denying that. Fire ants, I think, would be fine. 
Glow Black Ants, I think, actually would be just fine for this. Because, like, the whole strategy is just camp at the corridor. We're, mm, I did get... It's gotten even worse. <laughs> it's worse every time I look at it. <laughs> uh, yes, I know the queen's in imminent danger. That <laughs> frame heads is going to go hunt birds. <laughs> you might be right about that. The Mantis is not one shot queen. I don't think Leaf Cutters can survive this free play. No, I don't think so either. Defeat Performica Fusca. Yeah, I think you took too long to go above ground, so not enough food. Well, if I went above ground, it was I started off at the max difficulty for starting, so I would have been wrecked. Try the little black ants. I might do that for another stream. All right. I think I'm going to end this one here. I I think I proved that black ants just can't compete with that high of a level. All right. Oh, 116,000 score. Huh, dang. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, you know, consider liking and subscribing for more. Uh, let me know if you want me, which colony you want me to do this challenge with next. You know, give me a colony that I actually have a chance of winning this. All right. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.